Florida's Stand Your Ground law is in the spotlight again tonight. This after a man shot two people last night under the Jensen Beach Causeway. He told deputies he was defending a pregnant woman. News Channel 5's Katie Johnson's live now from the scene of the shooting with details on why this shooter won't be charged. Katie? Well, it was an act of self defense. That's why one man shot two people here underneath the Jensen Beach Causeway last night, according to the sheriff here in Martin County. Tonight, those two men are still in the hospital, and it's likely that they will be the ones that'll be getting charged. Uh, there was an altercation at the beach pier. They were attacking a pregnant woman. I tried to help defend her, and the two men tried to jump on me. Frantic moments for Joshua Anderson. This 911 call happening right after he shot two people. You have the weapon? Yes, ma'am. I have a 380. Sheriff William Snyder says the disabled Army veteran has a permit for the gun. Anderson was fishing under the causeway Tuesday night when witnesses say a fight broke out among some local vagrants, Zachary Sly and Brett Jowers. It was a very big altercation. I, I'm calling for myself because this was not good. During the fight, investigators say Jowers threw Sly's pregnant girlfriend onto the ground. That's when the sheriff says Anderson stepped in. He saw a woman being attacked at night and he went to her aid. And uh, in my opinion, I think he did the right thing. The other two men were well bigger than me and they were hitting a pregnant woman. I tried to stop them and then they turned and tried to come on me. And that's when the sheriff says Anderson shot the two men. Okay, did you shoot any of them? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I fired on both of them. Both men now in critical condition at an area hospital. Well, we tried reaching out to Joshua today. His family telling us he doesn't want to speak to the media right now. It's unclear what disability he has. The sheriff only saying that it prevented him from fighting back against the two men. The sheriff telling us Joshua likely won't face any charges, but those two men that were involved in that fight, they'll likely be charged. Live in Jensen Beach, Katie Johnson, WPTV News Channel 5.